6.33 now. President Joe Biden will be in Dallas today to join the North Texas community as they pay respects to the late Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson. This is part of three days of remembrances for Johnson, who died on New Year's Eve at the age of 89. Our Lana Quillen is live this morning at Dallas Fair Park, where the first of several events to honor the late Congresswoman will take place in just a few hours. Alana? Good morning. Yeah, Eddie Bernice Johnson will lie in state here at the Hall of State starting at 10 a.m. That runs until 3 p.m. where the public will have their chance to say their final goodbyes. Then a wake is being held this evening, and that is where President Joe Biden is expected to pay his respects as well. Now, friends and family of Eddie Bernice Johnson are asking those who were unable to attend these services over the next couple of days to take some time to pause and reflect on her life as a trailblazer and an icon. Now, she first served in the Texas legislature, then in the U.S. House for three decades after becoming the first registered nurse elected to Congress and the first black chief psychiatric nurse at Dallas's Veterans Affairs Hospital. She went on to become the first black woman to chair the House Committee on Science, Space and Technology, and she also led the Congressional Black Caucus. Johnson left office in January last year after repeatedly delaying her retirement. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson says she was the single most effective legislator Legislator Dallas had ever had, bringing in hundreds of millions in federal infrastructure money to the city. Senator Royce West also shared a few words with NBC5 about his decades long friend and mentor. You know, I think of Eddie Bernice Johnson much like I think about Barbara Jordan, Lady Bird Johnson, and, and the sheroes of the state of Texas that benefit the entire country. When you have the President of the United States coming and paying respects to you and your family, that says a lot in terms of what the person not only meant to us here locally, but also meant to this country. Meanwhile, Johnson's family is preparing a lawsuit regarding her death. According to family attorneys, medical negligence led to an infection and a, quote, terrible, painful death for the former congresswoman following back surgery. In an email, the company which operates the facility where Johnson received care declined to comment on the allegation out of respect for patient privacy. She went home on hospice care last month and died on New Year's Eve at the age of 89. Now, after the memorial at the Hall of State today, a way will be held this evening at Concord Church in Dallas and the funeral will be tomorrow at 10 a.m. Then her burial will take place in Austin on Wednesday. Reporting live in Dallas, Alana Quillen, NBC5. NBC5 will have crews in place throughout the day to bring you the latest on the former Congresswoman's memorial services and the presidential visit.